If you're tired of the same old boring chicken dinners, try these smoky and citrusy chicken gyros. Paired with warm pitas, oven fries, and some homemade tzatziki, they'll be a hit, I guarantee it. going to start off with about a pound and a half of chicken thighs. Yes, you can use breasts, but thighs have a lot more fat and flavor. You'll want to remove any excess fat there that's just big old hunks and then slice these down into half inch to one inch thick strips. Once that's done, go ahead and get them into a bowl and we're going to season them up with about a tablespoon or two of olive oil to let everything marinate around on the chicken. A good fresh crack of pepper and a heavy pinch of salt. We'll follow that by about a, a tablespoon or two of smoked paprika for aforementioned smokiness. A pinch of red pepper flakes, that's part is optional depending on how much heat you want. A sprinkle of some ground coriander and a little bit of ground dried thyme. All the exact amounts will be down below as usual. We'll zest one lemon and then add the juice of half that lemon and reserve the other half for later. The final ingredient we'll use here will be one grated large clove of garlic. Definitely recommend grating some fresh garlic in here, but if you want to use some garlic or garlic powder, that would be an acceptable substitute. Go ahead and stir all of that to thoroughly combine and then give it at least 30 minutes to marinate, but up to 24 hours in the fridge would be even better. When you're ready to cook, get a large non-stick skillet over high heat. If there's enough oil in that marinade, we don't need to add any extra to the pan. And then sear it for three to four minutes on each side, and then just continue to flip it until it is totally cooked through. As you can see, I only added about half the chicken to this skillet. We do not want to overcrowd things here. We definitely want some nice golden brown color and char on the outside of that chicken. And hey, if you're feeling like grilling, that would be even better here if you have a nice fine grill grate to put this on. Either way, once it's totally cooked through, Splash on a little bit more of that reserve lemon juice for fresh lemon flavor, set it aside, and you'll have just enough time to go ahead and cook through your remaining chicken. In the meantime, I'm going to grab a couple of Roma tomatoes and slice those up nice and thin, followed by about half of a large red onion or one small red onion. And then to serve, we're going to make a nice large plate here with some pitas. We've made those on the channel before. I'll drop a link down below for the recipe if you want to make your own followed by some oven fries. Same story there, we've done those before in a previous video and I will drop the link down below as well as link to the video recipe in the upper right hand corner if you wanna check that out. We'll lay down some tzatziki sauce. I made this myself, not to sound like a broken record, but we'll drop the instructions down below for how to do that. And then just add those onions and tomatoes down followed by a little bit of dry oregano for garnish on our fries and chicken gyro meat. All right, so whether you make them homemade or buy them from the store, you want to warm your pitas up, grab a few pieces of that chicken and tuck it down in there, followed by a few slices of tomato and onion and a generous dollop of that creamy cucumbery tzatziki sauce. Once you've got it all assembled, go in there for a taste test. And uh, oops, I bit off a little more than I could chew there. But whether you make all this stuff from homemade scratch ingredients or just pick up some store-bought tzatziki and some frozen fries. The chicken gyro meat here is absolutely the star. Super moist, super flavorful. Smokiness from that smoked paprika, brightness from that citrus juice. I definitely hope you'll give this a try. I know you're gonna love it. It's so flavorful and really wonderful. Anyways, I'm gonna get out of here. I recommend you do the same and go make something delicious.